Hello my dear friends welcome to the java programming playlist in this video we are going to see the character stream class in java programming in the previous video we have seen what is a stream class and the types of stream class in that we have seen the byte array stream in this video we are going to see the character array stream let us again go through the definition of stream class once again just to refresh the topic a stream is a sequence of data in java a stream is composed of bytes in java there are three stream classes that are created by default which are automatically present inside the java first is system.out which is the standard output stream then we have system.in which is the standard input stream and system.err which is the standard error stream so these three are the standard stream classes which are available inside java default for us but we can create our own stream class object and use it as we know the types of stream there are two first is the byte stream input stream output stream and second is the character stream which is the reader and writer so here the reader is similar to input stream and writer is similar to output stream but there is a technical difference that we are going to see in this video so let us start exploring the character stream now what is a character stream character streams are used to perform input and output of 16 bits that is the two bytes at a time from the character file so here we can see that it is performing operation on the 16 bits or 2 bytes from the character file reader and writer are the most common classes used in the character stream character stream reader class first let us focus on the reader class so in reader class there are this reader classes which are extending reader class that is input stream reader buffer reader filter reader string reader and pipe reader now input stream reader class is extended by file reader where we read the file then we have buffer reader which extend which is extended by the line number reader and then filter reader which extended by the pushback reader reader class with a character based stream we can read lines of the text so here we know that in the reader class we are focusing on the characters unlike the bytes in the stream classes or byte stream classes a line of text is a series of characters terminated with a carriage return or carriage return and the line feed so here since we are reading character by character so first we should understand that when we are reading the characters every combination of 16 bits should have an understanding if it is lesser than 16 bit then we need to have some line feed and that should end with a carriage return so carriage return it indicates the end of the line now what are the types of reader classes so we have seen that there are the types so first is the file reader it used to read from the files as the name says it extends the input stream reader class that translate byte to a character so here this is very important my dear friends because since the system is working on the bytes but we want that we are reading the character so there is some additional efforts to be taken and that additional effort is taken by the input stream reader class which makes this conversion of bytes to the character buffered reader it provides buffer facility to the reader class line number reader this class extends the buffered reader and also keeps the record of the line number of this buffered stream so since we are using the buffered reader and this is uh, character stream class so the buffer reader will read buffer wise that means it needs to understand what data is getting transmitted but there is another class line number reader that helps 
in remembering the line numbers that how many lines are read and how many lines are still remaining so that could be used for having the buffer size then we have the string reader which is used to read from a string so if there is a string that is a sequence of characters that is coming out then we can read it using the string reader next we have with us in this is so there are two classes which are remaining pushback reader and piped reader so pushback reader provides unreading facility to the reader class just as the pushback input stream helps us in having the unreading facility in the input stream same way we have the unreading facility in the reader class by the pushback reader class then we have piped reader class used to read from the pipes now let us focus on the character stream writer class so in the writer class there are output stream writer buffered writer filter writer print writer and piped writer writer class it is an abstract class that defines the character stream output if you need to change these values you can use the output stream writer so you can understand that that here we are dealing with the character stream so in character stream what is done is reading and writing is done in the sense of characters so if you want to make any changes in those cases then you have to use the output stream writer because the characters understanding depends on the unicode that is used by the system types of the writer class so file writer we can see here it used to write to a files it extends the output stream writer that translates the character to a byte because the system understands byte and our program understands character so there should be a conversion from character to byte that is done by the output stream writer buffered writer provides the buffer facility to the writer class so if you want to perform writing after some data is all uh, is there in the buffer then we can use the buffer writer filter writer class is an abstract class which is used to write filtered character stream so if you want to do some filtration before writing then we can use the filter writer class print writer is used to write any data to the writer so it is used to print any data to the writer piped writer is used to write data to a pipe so if there is a pipe in which the communication is happening so there is a continuous flow then we use the piped writer now let us see the example of file reader and file writer in parallel so java file reader class is used to read character from a file at the same time java file writer class is used to write character data to a file there are two ways to create a file reader and there are two ways to create a file writer object so if you remember the previous video there the file input stream and file output stream there were two ways the same two ways are there in the file reader and file writer but the only difference is in the implementation because in stream we have input stream that is the byte stream in byte stream we deal with bytes here we are dealing with characters so here there is this file reader object fr which is equal to new file reader and we are giving the file path as a string directly so file path is specified in the argument in the writer file writer fw is equal to new file writer c colon slash java slash java hello dot txt and this is required as an argument if this file because you have to give the file name if the file does not exist then it will create if it exists it will open up but in the case of 
reader the file should be there the second way is first we create the file object with the class file f is equal to new file and the string that is the path of the file for path where the file exists then file reader fr is equal to new file reader f so we are giving the object as an argument to the file reader class same way file writer fw is equal to new file writer f where f is the object of the file class first the file is created and it is passed as an argument here also the file is first created and passed as an argument so this is an important note to be observed if the file mentioned does not exist so if this hello.txt does not exist at this path the compiler will throw a file not found exception it will say that the file does not exist and how it says it will say it by throwing an exception with the name file not found while in the case of file writer if the file mentioned does not exist the compiler will create the file it will create the blank file with this name and whatever operation you do whatever content you write in this file it will get written now after understanding this let us now compare the input stream that is the in byte stream with the character stream so in byte stream a mechanism that performs input and output of 8 bits or a byte so here the operation is performed with 8 bits or a byte that is input and output operation while in the case of character stream a mechanism in java that performs input and output operation on the 16 bit unicode so remember these things it is working on the 16 bit but it is working on unicode that is the code that is accepted by the system for the characters the byte stream allows us to read write data byte by byte whereas the character stream automatically allows us to read write data character by character a byte stream is suitable for processing raw data like binary files like image file audio files video file executable file so if you are transferring data of this binary files format then it is suitable to use the byte stream whereas the character stream is useful when we want to process the text file so we are transferring some text file then we make use of the character stream so a byte stream ends where the byte value is minus 1 so how do we understand that the data that is coming in is uh, ended by reading the value minus 1 at the same time we can understand by uh, we are sending minus 1 when the data is complete while in the case of character stream a character in the character stream ends with either a null character or some specified carriage return so if it is null then we understand that the character is complete a word is complete or there can be some specified carriage return so this uh, this can be another value which is working as a null but it has to be mentioned priorly before starting the communication all byte stream classes in java are descendant of input stream and output stream so input stream and output stream are the parent classes of all the byte stream classes whereas all character stream classes in java are descendant of reader and writer so these are the core classes reader is for reading writer is for writing same way input stream is for taking the input and output stream is for giving the output i hope this is clear my dear friends the input stream and output stream reader and writer in all the stream classes in the java programming thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more program more videos on java programming thank you my dear friends